oldies, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm filming from my home and I wanted to share with you some of my experience that I went through while I was in Mexico for two months and how I was able to lose about 12 pounds while I was away on vacation and how I'm planning to maintain this weight as I'm back to Toronto. Coming right up. Three, two, one. I've lost over 50 pounds and I've been able to keep it off consistently. My channel is all about healthy, sustainable weight loss. So if that's something you're into, please make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you never miss a video from me. Now, let's get back to the video. So let me give you guys a little bit of a background story how I ended up in Mexico for two months. First of all, my husband and I and my puppy were going to go to Mexico to plan a wedding there. We got married, as you guys know, on October 15th in Toronto, but we wanted to do a wedding in Mexico and invite all of our friends and family to come on vacation with us, right? Now, we ended up going to Mexico. The first few weeks was really fun because we got there during the Christmas time. We partied a lot, we drank a little bit. So... Uh, we had a lot of fun and I feel like it really messed up with our immune system and we got COVID unfortunately. Now because we got COVID, we pretty much lost about three weeks of our vacation. We couldn't really go out because we had to quarantine. It was really hard to you know, get food from outside. We had to order food in and we had to just kind of really be careful as we're going out until we tested negative. And we were both kind of on and off coughing for a whole three weeks. So it was pretty much really awkward to go out and do anything. So we were kind of stuck inside. We were planning to go see a lot of venues in Mexico. We only ended up going to one and we talked to a lot of other ones through email because you know we were gonna leave in a month. So we decided to extend our stays to go and visit some venues. The only resort we ended up going to was Nizuk and it was a beautiful place. I'm gonna post a little video so you guys can see around the hotel. Okay, so we're at Nizuk. We're trying to check out the place for a wedding, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'll show you guys around. Because with all the travel restrictions and everything that was going on in the world right now, even though it's towards the end of the pandemic and even the masks are coming off, but when we were in Mexico, there was still a lockdown. You know, people were in the lockdown in Toronto. That's why we kind of were motivated to stay there for a little bit longer. And um, we decided against it and we decided on having a wedding in Toronto. Now, having said that, I ended up in Mexico for two months and I was going to use that to get back on track and maybe pay more attention to my diet. You know, I don't really have junk food or I don't really eat outside, but I eat a lot of food when I'm home. I eat a lot of healthy food and since the amount of the food and the volume of the food I eat is a lot, I normally am never lean. I'm never fat anymore, but I'm never lean out. So I use Mexico as my motivation to start getting more leaner. Now the best thing about Mexico was that I didn't have a scale with me so I couldn't really weigh myself to find out where I'm at. So I just continued doing what I knew best and I just went with it. When I came back to Toronto and I stepped on the scale I was 12 pounds lighter and I could not believe my eyes. I'm telling you guys I couldn't believe it. It didn't even look like I had lost you know 12 pounds it looked like I lost maybe like seven or eight pounds but not 12 pounds so I was very very excited um, to know that I felt really light I felt really good and I wanted to really maintain it I kind of sat down and thought about some of the things that I did in Mexico that helped me lose weight and I really really wanted to share these with you guys to give you some motivation to lose weight right now get healthier get in a better shape or maybe if you're going on vacation kind of stay on track 
the first thing I did, I stopped ordering outside food. And the reason I do that is because ordering outside food is such a strong habit for me because I ordered food all throughout university, all throughout my relationship. That was my go-to type of food. I never cooked, so it's a really, really bad habit for me. As soon as I order outside food, it could be a vegan salad. But the next day, I'm going to create falafel, and falafel turns into fries, fries turns into burger and pizza, and that's not the road I wanted to go down with. So I had a whole pizza on New Year's Eve. We went to a restaurant, we ordered steak, we ordered all kinds of desserts, anything that I wanted to eat. I indulged in every kind of food that I could imagine. And then the day after New Year's Day, I stopped having outside food completely. Started going to this cute little market in Mexico. We would go do grocery shopping, we would come home at our Airbnb and we would just cook ourselves and it was really really fun and it felt really really good. And I swear to you I'm gonna be honest with you, it was really really hard. I don't know if you guys have ever been to Play of the Carmen but there's an avenue called the Fifth Avenue and there's all sorts of bars and restaurants and clubs all along the street and we had to pass like literally walk through Fifth Avenue for 20 minutes from our condo to our gym. This is a very, very long walk there and back, so it's about 40 minutes of walk. And during this walk, you pass by all of these restaurants. People are on vacation, they're having a good time, they're eating food, and it's really tempting. And it was the hardest part of the trip was really resisting the urge of eating outside and resisting the urge of going to these restaurants and you know having a drink. That was, I'm gonna be honest, was the hardest part of my journey, but it was only hard for the first two weeks, and after that, it was really easy. So we pretty much had six weeks because the first three weeks we were kind of sick and then we had six weeks that we were really doing this healthy routine when we were in Mexico. If you guys have seen any of my diet related videos, you guys know that you need eight weeks to see any visible and long lasting changes in your body if you're starting to diet and you're following your workout routine. And then you need 16 weeks for a full on transformation. And I say that because I understand you could lose a lot of weight if you cut your calories all of a sudden, but I never recommend that. If you guys have seen any of my videos I'm very very serious about this you can't really cut your calories go from having ice cream to just having chicken and broccoli this is so important and close to my heart and I hate when people put themselves through that loop of cycle of eating healthy and going back and eating healthy and going back just you know change your lifestyle and change doesn't come with abrupt decision and abrupt change the second thing I did is that I really focused on my workouts I'm not gonna be honest with you guys when I went to the gym there on the fifth Avenue there's a gym called revolve fitness and they have a lot of different locations but the one specifically on fifth avenue was pretty crazy it's full of bodybuilders girls are gonna come there and they're gonna do these crazy workouts and they put you to shame and if you know an old fat person like me and i still am not as athletic as i want to be i was very very intimidated walking around everyone was like sweaty and hot here i am i'm about 15 pounds heavier than i was you know two years ago and i'm not paying attention to my body anymore during COVID I kind of lost the motivation and I wasn't really specific with my calories I stopped counting and I stopped really caring to be honest with you so when I was there in the beginning I felt really intimidated but I decided that instead of being weak and just kind of going in the corner I used it as motivation for myself to start taking my workouts more serious I was really happy there so instead of looking down on them I started admiring them looking up you know to them and I started working out a lot more and um, it really puts me on track after three or four weeks I started looking better and I feel like a lot of people all over there noticed too, including this lady that came up to me and told me oh you, you know you look great what happened like I've been seeing you for three weeks four weeks here and you look a little different what have you been doing to know that I was on the right track and I was doing great one of the most important things that really helps me to look a little bit leaner when I was in Mexico I think was the fact that I was sweating a lot more Mexico is very humid it's very hot even though it was winter time and it was raining most of the time it was really really hot and when you're working out at a gym like that it's pretty old school they don't have good air conditioning you start sweating a lot while you're doing cardio I would probably sweat 10 times more than I did in Toronto so I feel like that really helped out get rid of the water weight and, and when you lose water weight it shows right away the third thing I did is that I walked a lot and to be honest with you when I'm in Toronto I'm not walking as much I don't walk at the gym I do a little bit of a cardio and I do my weight training but I don't take my steps that seriously I feel like in Mexico we were walking everywhere we didn't rent a car 
so we were walking to the gym and back I was taking my dog for a long walk every single day and we would buy ourselves we would go grocery shopping and we would do our shopping also we would walk to the store and we would walk back so that really added up to about 10 to 12,000 you know K steps every single day which was a lot compared to Toronto I walk about five to six thousand steps a day and that's when I take out my dog and I guess the steps around the house that's pretty much it so I felt like I wanted to really keep that when I'm back in Toronto so what I did is that I started walking if you guys see on my app here and my health app so this little dip in the app is basically when I was back in Toronto mid-February February 17th is when we got back and then in the back of the graph is when I was in Mexico and in the like when you actually look um, a week a couple of days after I started walking at the gym I started walking outside more so I started to make sure that my steps match when I was in Mexico so I don't all of a sudden lose that habit so that's one of my recommendations to you guys if you guys are not taking your steps maybe aim for 8,000 at least per day and 10,000 would be really really great my fourth tip is literally the secret of weight loss and I don't understand why people don't talk about this more but I think it's very very important the one thing that really helps me lose weight is eating smaller meals more frequently I would have six or seven meals a day so I would eat every three to four hours and it works wonders guys so when you do eat smaller meals your stomach is not going to be as stretched and you're not going to be bloated so you have your body has time to get rid of the calories and looks forward to the next meal and it takes your body a little bit of a time to get adjusted so maybe in the beginning you'll be overwhelmed and really full but your body will get used to it why do we do that a lot of bodybuilders follow the same protocol when they want to lean down and the reason it works is because your body is working for you it wants to make sure that you're not going to starve to death one of the most common reasons that people and I personally did put on weight is because you wake up you have a big breakfast or a small breakfast it doesn't matter but then you don't eat for a long period of time until you know in the evening so you're gonna starve yourself as soon as you start getting a little bit dizzy or hungry then you start eating you know something it doesn't matter if it's small or big so what your body does is going to adjust to that it knows that if you feed it right now you're not gonna feed it for eight or nine hours so what it will do is that it will hold on to those foods how does the body hold on to the food is by turning it into fat cells your body is going to be working for you so it turns into a fat storing machine you don't want that what you want your body to be working constantly so the more meals you give it in smaller periods your body is going to trust you that you're going to give it food so it starts burning it right away and it will use it to fuel you and you will have more energy when you do this diet now it may not be the best and healthiest diet obviously the healthiest diet for any human being is to eat less or maybe do intermittent fasting intermittent fasting we've already talked about a few of the videos that I'm going to list over here if you guys have time you can go over it it is the healthiest diet I don't personally follow it because it just doesn't work with my weight loss goals and my body composition goals but it's definitely the most healthiest way to eat so if that's something you're into you want to be healthy I recommend intermittent fasting but intermittent fasting doesn't mean oh I'm not gonna eat my breakfast and I'm gonna have my lunch there's a lot that goes into it. You have to pay attention to what you're eating, what you're eating before your fast, what you're eating after your fast, what are kind of nutrition you're getting, what are the hours that you're fasting, when are you working out? So it's not just about you know not having breakfast, skipping breakfast and lunch the day after. There's a lot that goes into it. If you want to stay healthy, make sure you check out those videos. And if you want more videos on intermittent fasting, let me know. I've done a lot of research on it. To sum everything up that helped me lose 12 pounds while I was on vacation in Mexico was basically number one, I stopped eating outside food and I started making food at home. Number two, I went to the gym and I sweated a lot. Three, I walked around a lot. And number four, I had smaller, more frequent meals. I hope this video is helpful for you guys. If it was, make sure you give it a thumbs up, comment down below and let me know which one of the points that I mentioned in this video you liked most and you're gonna apply to your life from today. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing to my channel every single day. It makes me so happy to wake up to, for a new person to subscribe to my channel. I don't see a lot of names. I can't really message back and thank you guys. But I really do appreciate all of your support. I did this for you guys and I really hope this is helping every single one of you. Thank you so much. See you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.